And the president has slammed the office of the director of public prosecutions for dropping a string of corruption cases, citing lack of evidence to prosecute. He called it a major setback in the fight against graft. Ruto also faulted parliament for delaying to pass the conflict of interest bill 2024, which he terms as crucial in tackling corruption within the government. Melita Oletengez reports. Two years into his presidency, William Ruto has upped the ante on the fight against graft, pointing fingers at both the director of public prosecutions and the judiciary. Ruto criticized the DPP for dropping numerous corruption cases and accused the judiciary of undermining efforts by granting anticipatory bail to graft suspects. It cannot be the case that the, right, the director of public prosecutions keeps dropping cases because somehow they are unable to produce witnesses. It, is also, it cannot also be the case that corruption suspects rush to court to obtain anticipatory bail that shields them from, shields them from due process. The president said the prolonged prosecution of corruption cases is also a hindrance in the fight against graft. There is also no reason for corruption cases to drag in our courts for years when the same courts are able to determine election petitions and related disputes within six months. He urged members of parliament to pass the conflict of interest bill which aims to prevent public officials from engaging in business dealings with the government and address potential conflicts of interest. I implore you honorable members to stop dragging your feet on this bill unless my friends there is a conflict of interest in the passing of the conflict of interest legislation. The president criticized the National Treasury for delaying the implementation of an e-procurement system for nearly a decade. He directed the Treasury to ensure the system is rolled out by the end of the first quarter of 2025. Melita, all it is Citizen TV, Nairobi.